What's up gang, welcome back for another hopefully insane, chaotic, and hilarious episode of Always Sunny. Last episode was, as I mentioned, one of my favorites so far. I just loved everything about it and how non-stop it was with throwing things at you and how everything came together at the end and how the lawyer just fleeced him there out of a good deal. And as the show gets farther and farther along now with us well into season five, I love love how much it rewards you for being a viewer for this amount of time with the amount of callbacks the recurring characters and just so many little references that you wouldn't pick up on necessarily if you just watched it by itself as an episode or if you skipped over a couple and so really loving the storytelling of it and just the way that they know how to make an audience member particularly me laugh and have a good time and so I'm hoping for more of the same in this episode hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow appreciate your support you can always check out my full-length reaction for these on my patreon link for that is in the description below and so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into season five episode nine hey what the hell is this <laughs> oh, another cat! Doesn't look like it has the kitten mittens, though. It's gonna be one noisy cat. You've begun your transformation into crazy cat lady. I just got a cat because I wanted something to hang out with. You would realize you're only strengthening our argument. Okay, what do you want? We need a big bowl for popcorn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they were so adamant about getting her attention in the beginning just for a popcorn bowl. Why'd you guys have to both come over here to get one bowl? I was gonna hold the bowl, Dennis was gonna stand next to me and make snide comments. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, you look like a bird. <laughs> oh, we're back to the bird comments, of course. The freaking dynamic duo right here. Maybe D's onto something, maybe they have another motive. What if one of us were to get into a jam? It'd be silly not to have the other one there. I silly, mean... Dennis, that sounds downright dangerous. You'll never get out of a jam because you got no friends. Well, you're a spinster. With a cat. <laughs> Give her the freaking bonk on the head. Where is this going right now? I can't tell. It's like you're an old married couple. No, D. We're more like a dynamic duo. So you don't think that two- Yo, I totally just freaking called them a dynamic duo. We're on the same wavelength, which actually worries me. When's the last time you went more than an hour without seeing each other? Every day. Without checking in? He always checks yeah. in with me. Yeah. He likes to have me check in. <laughs> Oh no, she planted the idea in him. These guys just had a wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they break up. I don't want to see that. I freaking love the realization setting in on their faces there at the end. D was speaking some truth. I feel like they are definitely a married couple in their tendencies, but you also got to throw Charlie in there. He's a big part of their life. Too. Hey, well, yo, where you been? What do you mean? I was getting the movie. Yeah, but you weren't answering any of my calls. I've been, I've been calling you. <laughs> oh no, here they go. Are they gonna start realizing how clingy they are with each other? What was the emergency, Mac? Well, I couldn't get in touch with you, dude. I almost called the police. I was gone for what an hour. Yeah, but I thought we had a deal. You know, you would check in every once in a while. <laughs> He keeps scooting in closer. This is great. Are they gonna start exhibiting more married couple vibes than ever before now? The Transporter 2? Video store clerk guy said this movie's awesome, so. The video store clerk guy. I feel like you won't <laughs> stop talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> he mentions him one time. Oh, this is fantastic. They're starting to get jealous now. I really hope this whole episode is just them playing through the lives of real married couples. I have been thinking a lot about what Dee said, and I feel like we're in a little bit of a rut. I feel like I'm not flourishing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the way he put that was so good. He's gonna freaking break poor Mac's heart. I guess I'll grab my and stay at Charlie's. Wait. Don't do that. <laughs> Their looks with each other, so good. There's definitely a massive bromance between them. Hi, I'm responding to a missing persons report. <laughs> oh my gosh, she actually did call the cops. I'll pack my things. Oh, this is amazing. I hope they can work it out in the end. I can't deal with the two boys being broken up. Hey -oh! <laughs> What's the matter with you? What are you doing here? Mac and I are taking a little bit of a break. I was thinking about what you were saying. You were right. I wasn't spending enough time by myself. I feel like Dee is going to regret saying those things now that Dennis is spending more time with her. As much as she's a part of the gang, I feel like they annoy her a lot. He is 
is in the wall somewhere. Well, that's a bummer, but uh, I'm sure it'll come out at some point. Or, or he won't, and he'll die in there, and you'll have a dead cat smell for a while. <laughs> This is not going to make her feel better at all. Is her cat actually stuck in the wall too, or is that just a cover? In the meantime, let's watch the movie. I want to, I want to, I just want to watch the movie. Can we do that? <laughs> I think he's going through some Mac withdrawals right now. Dude's just trying to take his mind off things. Are you cutting your toenails with a steak knife? Oh, I suppose you have a problem with that too. Ah, go. Oh, botch toe. <laughs> Gosh, I freaking love the conditions that Charlie and Frank live in. These guys are so primitive, but it's so entertaining. That's working. It's acting like a cut glove. Ah, oh, unbelievable, dude. There are so many things that are going to need to change now that I'm living. <laughs> Mac just walked into a freaking mess. I also love how Frank and Charlie have a little bit of a bromance too. Very wholesome between them. Don't want to... <sighs> hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, Mac is being annoying as sh**. He bossing you around a whole bunch? Totally bossing me around. Yeah, typical. <laughs> Oh my, this is so fantastic. I love all the real life applications to relationships that are happening. Charlie and Dee are just caught in the middle right now. Could care less about that guy. Called to talk to you. Want to see if you want to come over to Dee's apartment. We're doing a movie night. Charlie, hang up the phone. Oh my God, dude. I'll be right over. <laughs> oh no, everybody's going to end up at Dee's, aren't they? I feel like this is going to end up with Dennis and Mac having a huge fight, but hopefully making up with each other. He's always constantly critiquing the fight scenes and talking about how he could choreograph the fight scenes so much better than they could, which is ridiculous. Dennis, I pinpointed him. <laughs> oh, he actually is in the wall. What? How'd that cat get in there? I also love how Dennis is trying so hard to badmouth Mac just to justify him spending time away. Do me a favor. Peel this apple for me, please. No! No, I'm not gonna peel an apple for you. But Mac always does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Max like a motherly figure for him too. Oh, this is so good. Dennis just needs to be coddled by a good strong man, it seems. I'm not allowed to eat it with the skin. I'm not allowed. Oh my god. All right. I will peel the apple for you the way that Mac likes you to eat it. <laughs> My gosh, this episode is great as well, man. Two absolute bangers in a row. I'm gonna stop saying how do they do it because at this point, I don't think there's an answer. You can peel your own apple, Charlie. She's in a little bit of a mood because her cat got stuck in the wall. Cat in the wall, eh? I ain't talking my language. I know this game. <laughs> Charlie, the freaking unintentional expert on cats and cat problems, dude, has dealt with hundreds, as he has said. Flattened itself out, went right through a seam in your wall. I don't think there's anything in the laws of nature that would support that. Cats do not abide by the laws of nature, right? <laughs> I mean, having had a cat for years, Charlie is very accurate with that statement. Thinking about getting some catnip. Don't do that. That's going to irritate the cat. Then it's going to dig itself down further. We may never get to it. We need another cat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dude, I freaking love the direction this took. Just completely different than I was expecting. Charlie is locked into this. I mean, I'll start the movie, man, because I'm having a conversation here. All day. All right, where are we going to get this other cat? Oh, I'll get you another cat. I got followed here by like 10 cats. Oh my gosh, maybe it's not his apartment. Maybe it's Charlie that they're attracted to. I love how they're just like making fun of Dennis and his problem with Mac too. This place is tits. Yeah, right? Thank you. Whoa, Frank, no! Oh God, the skin of those things is riddled with toxins. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is blowing my mind, man. I don't know if it's my mood being ready to laugh more or the fact that these last two episodes have just been extra hilarious, but it's just literally been nonstop laughs for two episodes in a row. It's great. What are you doing now, dude? Taking the toxic skin off. But you're cutting it with your toe knife. Who gives a That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Mac there, man. I think Mac's getting a little too overbearing for him, though. I gotta take a walk. Okay. My head is swimming. Oh, Just my. make sure you, you know, check in, because I haven't heard from Charlie, and it is getting late. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's not just with Dennis that Mac has that attitude. He's just a very concerned person. I'm gonna pop this little girl on your wall here. She's gonna meet your little fella. They're gonna bond. And then I'm gonna rip her out, and he's gonna come right out. <laughs> This is freaking incredible. The best plan I've ever seen, man. I love Charlie's voice inflection as well. Crap. I knew I should have gotten a bird. What are you gonna do with a bird? I was gone. 
I swallowed apple seeds. <laughs> Oh, jeez, dude. There's so much chaos going on right now, and now D has two cats stuck in the wall. So, uh, how's life with Mac? He's too pushy. He back on my team? If there's room for me. There is always room for you, bud. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That was not what I was expecting between them, the freaking belly bumps. Oh man, I love how their bromance is flourishing and going through ups and downs too. I got two cats stuck inside this wall, can't get them out. You wanna bring in a third? I'm thinking maybe four. <laughs> no, 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 no more cats! <laughs> Dude, I have nothing left to say, man. This is just comedy perfection. I don't know how they film these without busting up laughing every second. Get Mac and Dennis back together. I'm gonna get a bird, I'm gonna get two cats out of my wall, and then I'm gonna go back to being alone. Excuse me, can you part for one second? <laughs> Dude, Dennis's freaking noise is in the background. Dude is coughing up way more than apple seeds, it sounds like. Every time I think the show has peaked, it just gets better. Sit. What is he doing here? I was told I would be meeting a woman with giant breasts. I was also told that I was to meet a woman with giant breasts. <laughs> That's why they're freaking perfect for each other. They have the same likes. I guess I should. Ah! Ah! You shut up! <laughs> Freaking children, dude. That went way downhill, way faster than I expected, but hopefully they got it out of their system. I swallowed some apple seeds today. Did you make yourself throw up? I tried, but I couldn't. Smoke some cigarettes. The smoke will suffocate the bacteria in your stomach. <laughs> Oh my gosh, their acting is super underrated as well. They're playing these roles super well right now. I really believe that they are a couple, even though I've been watching them for seasons. Such a good team. I'm a man of action, and you're a man that comes up with good words. Words, dude. You really gotta work on your vocabulary, though, man. Couldn't think of the word words. Is everything okay here, gentlemen? <laughs> I love the direction this is going now. Love seeing my guys make up and be friends again. Couldn't handle them being apart for more than an episode. I'm just as attached to them as they are to each other. I don't have any money. I've got some cash. I can get you out of this jam. Oh my gosh, the freaking looks back and forth from the waiter and the callback to two dudes getting each other out of a jam from the first scene. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Yo, they have decimated her apartment. Reminiscent of their own apartment. Watch this. Dinner time. Go on, guy. Yo, they freaking ate the bird. What was Dee thinking? She needs to trust the cat experts. I'm gonna get you, you bird! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, kitty! <laughs> now Dee is going in the wall. What is going on? This is another perfect example of fitting so much into an episode that it feels longer than one. You guys, I think I'm stuck in the wall. That's why she needs a friend. You gotta have a sidekick. You guys? I love how they say, gotta have a friend, gotta have a sidekick, as if they aren't right there in the apartment that they could help get her out. Man, dude, these last two episodes were incredible, so good. One right after the other, they had me freaking dying so many times, that was so funny. As I mentioned at the beginning of the other one, I've been sick, but I feel like the laughter from these two just cured every problem I had. All I can say, man, is I am so glad that this show is continuing on for the foreseeable future because at this point I cannot imagine my life without Always Sunny and the gang. This is just perfection, man. I don't know how I missed it for so long. Nobody ever recommended this show to me, not once before I started this channel. And so I don't know if that means Always Sunny is still technically underrated, even though I know that it's kind of popular. I mean, I'd heard of the show before but no one had ever mentioned like hey you should check out this show or if it's just nobody I know or have associated with are huge fans of the shows or felt they needed to mention it but I feel like at this point I'm going to every time I meet somebody introduce myself by saying my name and then telling them they should watch Always Sunny because <laughs> this is such a freaking great experience every time and especially these last episodes these last 
couple that I watched were just peak television and peak always sunny but I know that it's not gonna be long before that's gonna be topped as well because it does it every freaking time and just how I was mentioning at the end of last episode how this show rewards you for having watched up to this point with kind of like inside jokes of the show or references that you wouldn't get otherwise I feel like this episode is another piece of evidence towards that because you've got all of Charlie's history with the cats coming into D's situation and then obviously Dennis and Max relationship you have and Frank and Charlie's living situations just like every joke in it is already super funny and layered but all the background information that you have from previous episodes and previous seasons makes it even more layered and so it's just incredible writing incredible acting as I mentioned especially in this one Mac and Dennis I thought did a great job at capturing that kind of romantic romantic comedy feel to their characters as well and so hopefully you guys are having a great time watching along with me for this if you enjoyed watching along for this episode definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel out you can always check out my full-length reactions to all the always sunny episodes i've watched so far on my patreon the link for that is in the description below and the episodes are always released on there before the youtube edits so if you'd like to see them a little bit ahead of time you can do that there as well but until the next episode and hopefully a lot more laughs i will see you all later peace